Federal regulators this week will begin looking into new technology that could become the wave of the future, Internet telephone service. On Thursday, the FCC will begin considering whether to regulate it, and if so, how. A few people have Internet phone service now, but as consumer editor Tom Vickar reports, it is available, the quality is good, and so is the price. This little box and $20 a month could slash your phone bill. It's called Packet 8 from Santa Clara-based 8x8, one of a small but growing number of Internet phone companies. Uh, and you get to call any telephone number anywhere in the U.S. or Canada included in that 1995 a month. You also get voicemail, caller ID, call forwarding, call waiting, three-way calling, really a host of all the features that the traditional phone companies have charged extra for. And calls to other Packet 8 subscribers anywhere else on Earth are also included. Only international calls to non-subscribers cost extra. Packet 8 service is available to anyone with a high-speed internet connection, DSL, or cable. Just hook it up to your computer and a telephone. And it's really only in the last year that the technology has gotten good enough that we can actually fool people who come in and listen to it and try it for the first time, and they realize it sounds no different than their regular phone service. The biggest drawback? Calls to information 411 and emergency 911 are currently not possible, but designers are working on a fix. But the Santa Clara company is going way beyond simple voice communications. Well, it may look like a video phone, and it may sound like a video phone, but in reality, it's not a phone at all. It's an extension to your computer. This $600 video communicator, available today, allows live internet video calls. The next generation, faster and clearer, due out this spring, will cost a third of that, making it accessible to many residential customers. And because that's a Packet 8 to Packet 8 call, it's not going back to the regular phone network. That's a free call from any two endpoints anywhere in the world. But entrepreneurial inventors such as Brian Martin worry that government intervention in this new world of communications could stifle its growth. I think at this point it's far too early for the government to, to even begin to intervene. This is a very young industry with voice over IP. I would argue the Internet itself is still in its infant stages, and it certainly has been able to grow without government intervention or oversight there. And a final note. If that 5-inch screen on the video phone isn't good enough for you, that's okay, because you can hook it up to any size monitor, including a giant flat screen. Get a big picture? I'm consumer editor Tom Behar, KTVU. Channel 2 News. The agriculture